Okay, so, um, this website wants, um, Alan Shaw to be removed, um, and it wants a new management of Norfolk Southern, so, I sure bought this watery five minutes ago, and, um, so yeah, we're just gonna look at it, so we'll, so we'll get VR presentation. Okay, the case for leadership, safety, and strategy changes at Norfolk Southern. I think it's Ancora. Okay, what's so a situation overview? Ancora and the participants in its solution own a large equity s stake in Norfolk Southern, which is an issue plagued and worst performing class owned railroad despite having exceptional employees and world-class customers. I don't know really much about the customers. Okay, we have nominated eight highly qualified independent director candidates who collectively possess significant experience in the railroad and transportation sectors. Strategic planning, safety, finance, corporate governance, governance, I'm sorry, and legislative and regular Affairs. I'm pretty bad at pronouncing stuff, by the way. We have identified the right CEO in Jim Barber, the former Chief Operating Officer of the United Parcel Service, Pope UPS, who is an experienced logistics and networks operator with a demonstrated record of devising new growth strategies and a background of a large Norfolk Southern customer. We have identified the right COO in Jamie Volichuk, the former Executive Vice President of Operations at CSX Transportation, CSX, who is an experienced world operator who previously worked under industry legend Hunter Harrison and has a demonstrated record of helping improve safety and performance in the context of turnarounds. Okay, let's read. One stronger leadership established as a safety first Worker focused culture in Norfolk Southern can implement the network of the future to regain trust, reestablish reliability, and unlock enhanced value for shareholders and police shippers and the communities to the train companies run through that comes in these trains. Forget the exact. Okay. Alan Shaw, so we're gonna look. C case for change. Okay. It says No Folk Center is being led by a CEO with. Okay. I'll do this over. No Folk Center is being led by a CEO with a misplaced strategy and lacking operational experience. Okay, let's read this. Under Mr. Shaw's leadership, Norfolk Southern has underperformed its peers on every relevant operating metric, translating to higher costs, lower profitability, inferior cash flows, and reduced value for shareholders, which all of them seem bad. Norfolk Southern's total shareholder compared to peers. Norfolk Southern, 2022 Investor Day to January 1st, twenty. Two. Um, two point five, fifteen point five. It's class of medium rare. Eight point four. Eight point four. Eighteen point zero. Ten point nine. Those two sound pretty low. No, since announcing Shaw as CEO to January thirty first, twenty point six. 6.4, 8 um, Norfolk Southern, 15.0, 16.9, one year to January 31st, 2024, 1.9, 17.1, 11.7, 19.0, 13.6, years to January 31st, 2024, 5.6, 
Twenty nine point seven, twenty nine point six, twenty four point one, twenty four point one. So yeah, things don't look too good for NS. Level seven has um so um let's look at it. Mr. Shaw has failed to implement a proven strategy to turn around the company's lagging operational performance. Instead, it has resulted in higher costs, a widening profit margin gap, and a worsening operating ratio. Let's look at that. What's BPS? Eh, things don't look too good for NS. Well, CSX is doing pretty good. Okay, the board sat idle while Norfolk Southern's accident rate continued to rise, despite Mr. Shaw's strategy promising safety implements. Okay, so, um, everyone, so, um, I just wanted to show that to you, um, and um, thank you for watching this video, and uh, bye.